everyone. I'm Emily Finch with Southern Indiana Cooperative Invasives Management. And today we're in Dubois County to show you Chinese yam. Of all of the invasive vines that we have in Indiana, Chinese yam is starting to show up in more places in Southern and Central Indiana, as far North as Indianapolis. And it's one of the vines that we want you to keep a lookout for. You can see here all of the Chinese yam going up on this tree. And if we look closely, Chinese yam has a very distinctive leaf. They can be either opposite or alternate on the vine, so sometimes it's nice to check multiple leaf pairs. And the veins curve along it towards the tip. The leaves can vary in shape uh, from heart shape to more of this fiddle shape with the two lobes at the base. Very distinctive, if you find them, are these aerial tubers or bugles that you'll find along the plant. So some of the natives that Chinese yam can be mistaken for are actually growing here in Dubois County right by the Chinese yam. Here we have the native honey vine uh, or the native milkweed vine. Unfortunately it doesn't have the milkweed sap that most milkweed plants have so you can't distinguish it that way but you'll notice that the leaves are shaped slightly differently and they don't have those strong curving vines that Chinese yam has. Also, if you find flowers like this on there, you don't have Chinese yam. Another one is greenbrier. There are a couple of different greenbrier species. The leaves tend to be larger and rounder than the Chinese yam, although they also do have those curving veins. The leaves are alternate and not opposite on Greenbrier. Also, if you find any thorns or hairs on the vine, you don't have Chinese yam. Now, Chinese yam uh, can grow very quickly and can overwhelm small trees just within a year. It's a vegetative vine, so it's not woody, and it's very rare to find it flowering or producing seed. It spreads mostly from the aerial tubers or from underground tubers as well. You can try controlling it manually, uh, pulling or digging, but unless you remove all of the underground roots, it will come back, so you're going to have to keep monitoring, monitoring it year after year. Try not to remove it manually while there are any of these aerial tubers on the plant because they'll fall off and grow into new plants. If you do remove them with any of the aerial tubers, you're going to want to bag that material so you're not spreading the plant anywhere else. Um, you have large areas, herbicide might be the best option, uh, either looking at foliar options or bundling up stems, cutting them, and then applying a, a concentrated cut stem treatment. This is an invasive that we want reports of wherever you find it in Indiana. So if you do find it, please go to EdMaps or use the Gleden app. For more information, uh, go to our website at sikkim.info.